Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today we're going to get started on this uh, sulfuric acid stripping cell to remove the gold plating off of junk gold plated jewelry and show you exactly how this should be done so that the uh, folks out there that want to reproduce this experiment can do so. So here we go. We're going to get started. I'm going to take the uh, material that I already have in this basket right here and we're going to transfer it into this strainer here. It's just a nylon mesh strainer. We're going to take all this stuff, put it in the strainer, and now what we're going to do is take it over here, some Mr. Clean in there with some water, and we're going to set this down in here and let this vibrate clean. This thing will loosen the dirt off of there, and then we'll uh, blow the junk off with the steamer. Take the stones out of there, and I'm going to go through and pick out all the stuff that doesn't have any non-gold plated stuff in it, just gold plated metal only. And we'll get this all cleaned up, and then we'll start uh, stripping the metal off in our sulfuric acid stripping cell. This has been in here about five minutes now. What I'm going to do is run it in some clean hot water now. Get all the soap rinsed off of it. Okay, I've got all the soap rinsed off. Now what we'll do is bring it over here to our steamer. And this is a uh, Hoffman jewelry steamer and I'm just going to blow it off real good with steam. And now what we'll do I'm going to take it over here and just put it in this dish. And then when, the, uh, when we get enough in here, I'll set this on the heat and we'll dry it off real good. Uh, if you don't do this, my thoughts are that there's going to be some scum that builds up in the uh, cell. Off. We're going to go out in the shop here, set it up on some heat, low heat, let it dry for about an hour. I've allowed the jewelry to dry completely. We're up over uh, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 69 degrees Celsius. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this down off the heat, let it cool off, and then once it cools off, we'll get a weight on it. While we wait for this group to uh, cool off, I'm going to add another group that I've got uh, cleaned with the ultrasonic cleaner and uh, steam cleaned. I'm going to dry this off. We're almost ready to start deplating. All right, I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard underneath here to isolate the lab jack from the uh, electricity that, that we'll be using. I'm gonna add some concentrated sulfuric acid here. I got this at Ace Hardware Store. This is Ruto Professional Drain Cleaner, concentrated sulfuric acid. 
I'm just going to fill up the, uh, the cell here now. Just enough to cover the inside of the anode here. Just It'll be up to here so it goes over the top, or the cathode rather. This is our lead cathode. So here we go. We're going to fill it up now with sulfuric acid that I got from the hardware store. I've got the electrolyte just covering the uh, lead bar, which is gonna be our cathode. And now what I'm gonna do is charge the basket with some of our uh, gold plated material here. Carefully, I don't wanna drop none of it down in the cell. I think this will work better. If we cut these pieces, they'll be easier to handle, deal with. Okay, I was going to edit that out, but I decided to leave it in. I picked up a piece of jewelry, and it dropped into the uh, electrolyte and spattered acid up out of the uh, cell there. And I'm leaving that in there to illustrate how dangerous this is. Uh, if you got little children around watching what you're doing, that could be highly dangerous because uh, if this acid spatters on them kids and hits them in the eye, it will instantly blind you or them. So it's important to make sure that we uh, take the proper precautions here when we're working with this stuff. All right, there, I think that'll be enough for right now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hook the uh, negative side to our lead cathode. I'm going to put the positive side up here on the basket. And now we're going to plug this in, energize the battery charger here. Let's see if we can see that in the shot. All right, it's got a little meter on it. Okay, I... Elevated the uh, face of this uh, battery charger so you can see the dial better. I, re I put a heavier brick on here. I didn't like the lighter brick that I had on there to make it a little bit more stable. Here we go. Now we're going to plug this back in. Energize the battery charger. And now I'm going to lower our basket down into here. And let's see how this is going to work. You get to watch it happen for the very first time. All right, let's see what our charger does over here. When we hit that acid with our basket, there it goes. Boom, it, it pegged it out. See that? It's pegged out up there. As soon as we hit the bottom of the basket down into the electrolyte, And we're getting a reaction along our uh, cathode bar there. The solution's becoming cloudy. I'm going to take this down and see if we can uh, just do a little bit of investigation here. See what's happening inside. I don't see no stuff coming off the bottom of the... Uh, of the basket yet. Somebody said something about Faraday effect. And maybe that's what we got going on here. I do see a little bit of material, a little bit of black powder showing up along here. Can't see it real well. I'm gonna lower the basket down in there a little further and see what happens. Oh yeah. 
You see some black powder starting to accumulate over there. Let's see what we got going on down inside. I'm trying to get a shot underneath. See what it looks like when the uh, gold starts to deplate off of the gold plated jewelry items. I don't see anything happening yet. But it's definitely coming off. See that black powder in there? That's the gold being deplated off of the gold plated jewelry. And then uh, our needle's all the way pegged out over here. As the jewelry deplates, that needle will start coming down. See that black powder coming out away from the uh, basket? That's our gold coming off into the electrolyte in our cell. That's been in there about five minutes in this position. If you look over here at our meter, it's slowly dropping down towards zero. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lower the basket down into the electrolyte a little more. And what'll happen is, watch, well, keep your eye on the meter as I do this, uh, as more of the gold plating comes in contact with the electrolyte it'll jump back up. See that? See it jump up? That's because I ever so slightly lowered the basket a little further down into the electrolyte. Every time I do that, the current flow will increase until the gold plating has been removed from the base metal. Here we go. We're going to put the basket down a little further into the uh, electrolyte. There goes the meter. And I want to try to get it up high, but not pegged. That'll be hard on the equipment there. That'll be hard on the, on the battery charger if I keep it pegged out all the time. So it's best to just lower it slowly with our jack. And then let it come on back down. When it starts coming down, that means the uh, gold has been reverse plated off of the base metal. I can only upload 15 minute videos on my iPhone. If anybody knows a way around that, leave it in the comment section, please.